I'm standing in one of the organic tea fields where Encha organic matcha is grown. It feels so special and wonderfully grounded to stand right here. I'm a firm believer of from farm to cup and organic farming. And for matcha, we assume 100% ground up tea leaf powder because it's very effective for offering all the nutrients, especially the antioxidant uh, catechins EGCG into our body. So organic is very important. There are two key practices in organic tea farming. No pesticides and no synthetic chemical fertilizer. The first three to five years of organic tea farm transformation is to be helped for the farmer. But after that, a natural biodynamic ecosystem is established. The bigger bugs eat the smaller bugs and the farmers more carefully examine their plants to remove any extra bugs. Because of no pesticide, sometimes you see wildflowers growing here. It can be composted as natural fertilizer. Again, no synthetic chemical fertilizer is used in organic tea farming. Natural organic fertilizer mainly reuses the residuals of other plants, for example, seeds after the oil is extracted. On hot summer days, tea leaves are trimmed from the top of the plants to fall into the spacing as a natural fertilizer to feed the plant itself. People often ask what's the difference between matcha and green tea. Besides the matcha being consumed as the whole ground up powder, there are two unique practices in matcha farming, shaded growth and the removal of stems. In early spring, the farmer chooses the strongest growing green tea plants for matcha and is shaded for slow growth about three weeks. In shading, a natural wonderful process occurs, which is the plants grow more theanine. Theanine helps our mind feel calm and focused. It is exactly the theanine in combination with the moderate caffeine in matcha that helps our mind feel calm and alert at the same time that helps us improve mental focus. The secondly, after the leaves are harvested and dried, the stems of the leaves are removed. Only the pulp of the leaf is ground up into powder. That's why matcha tastes much softer and savory. I drink a cup of matcha every morning and afternoon. Today it's going to be very special. I'm going to make a cup of matcha right here where it's grown.